<laughs> no, something, the announcement or something, no? Oh, yeah. Yeah, one, <laughs> one more announcement. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll, we'll end it one, but there'll, there'll be an offering, a Kataline uh, for Rimshe, and uh, deeply appreciate everyone's uh, presence here today. And um, uh, I, hope, I hope we remember have maybe one quick photo up. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Thank you. So everyone touch it delay. Uh, uh, I'm uh, very happy to see you again. <laughs> and uh, we are going to see more <laughs> in the future. <laughs> and uh, today I tried to my use uh, Bethes. I can my my, my English. <laughs> so uh, last times that we uh, talk about uh, six section Guru Yoga, right? So six section Guru Yoga, I I believe most people they do every day. So they have a how it's a longer ones or medium ones or shorter ones. So so the any of, any of those at least shorter versions, it's very important to do every day if you receive highest yoga tantra uh, empowerment. So when we received the uh, empowerment, we already took the Bodhisattva vows. We already took the, the tantric vows. And there were other uh, commitment through the, those tantric vows, uh, vows and the uh, Bodhisattva vows that some uh, example like a taking refugee three times a day and three times a night. So kind of like that's so many uh, different commitment we already committed. So order to, uh, how to say, order to avoid downfall, which should uh, the, do practice daily uh, through that six section Guru Yoga. So even if not necessary, we understood everything or we uh, uh, comply everything. It's not necessary, but we have to mindful every day, whatever we committed. The so Bodhisattva vows, they have a 18th root uh, downfall and they have a 46th uh, secondary downfall or what secondary what's called I don't know secondary downfall and they have a, a 14 root downfall for the tantra and they have a another some uh, secondary uh, uh, what's called secondary samaya or and then then also have a like a eight some translated use eight take samayas. So they have a lot. <laughs> and also when we take uh, Buddhisattva vows or when we, uh, uh, how to call, we, we take the inspiration Bodhicitta, right? So inspiration Bodhicitta and Bodhisattva, they were two different, right? So both of them has uh, some kind of the, how to say, uh, practice we should take after the, uh, we took the, those uh, vows or commitments or uh, uh, when we generate that uh, bodhicitta. So one side sometimes too much, right? And also uh, maybe, maybe some of you also has a lot some commitment about the daily practice, some shadanas or self generations or those kind of things. So sometimes like seems like too much, but when we think about what our purpose of uh, our life or our purpose of our practice or what is our main goals. So even uh, for example, like uh, within within our this life, right? Everybody has uh, their goals. Order to achieve that goal, we have to do 
lot of hard work not easily became uh, available, right? So, so that's uh, how the course, that's uh, not, it, it, if we compare that that's a goal and the ultimate goal of en enlightenment, so it's a huge difference. So, so I, I, I think we should compare those two goals so uh, then we can analyze how how much we have to do the effort to achieve something uh, how is there something happy within the these lives for education or job or houses or car or uh, the, the vacation or towel or whatever we, it's not uh, how it became easy so we have to work very hard so compared to that, to the, our ultimate good enlightenment, of course we have to maybe, maybe, maybe countless double that part of the effort. So, and in the meantime, so whatever we do for uh, temporary or the current, whatever we do is kind of like a temporary, it's not uh, uh, ultimate, right? So we can achieve whatever we set the goal within these lives, and then they have a time limit. Then we have to say goodbye. Then, then what, right? So our ultimate goal is still there. We have to do, uh, doesn't matter, right? We live 100 years with the, uh, uh, how to call it, like a huge family members or uh, friends or uh, walls or uh, mansions or whatever we we do, everything we have to leave and then we have to go and then if we didn't, how to say, didn't able to reach the path to the enlightenment, then Again, we have to start whatever we did in the this lives. We have to start again for the next life. If we didn't go to the death uh, highway, right? So we have to turn around or something, something like that. So, so, so far we have we have we have been doing this same how to call same same path. We came back and came back and came back doing again the same same thing. So, so, so anyway, we have to go to the that path. So, so don't it, it's not necessary to we just uh, how to call like a uh, lose confidence or oh I can't do it. I can't do it or something like that. We, we we don't need to think that way because our ultimate goal is to achieve the enlightenment, not just for ourselves, for the uh, uh, well-being of all the sentient beings. So time's not that effective if we think that way. So, so order to, uh, order to, Achieve, like there, there were many steps to take. So, in order to achieve step by step, so the one main, the uh, how to say, important thing is we have to, we, we already got the very, uh, how to say, how to call it, fortune or opportunity. We are already born as a human beings and pretty, pretty good uh, opportunity we have to practice studies and we uh, already uh, found uh, the uh, Dharma instructor or guru or teacher or Dharma friends. And whatever our ourselves, what's called like, a, I didn't know that much or something, whatever you feel, that it, 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 even you, you know Dharma a little bit. You know the 
as the foundation of the Buddhist uh, philosophy. What the Buddhist and what, uh, how to say, like uh, the, 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 the path that lead to the uh, enlightenment and and they, how to say, like uh, those three principal aspects of the path, right? And the renunciations and Bodhi, and the cheaters, and then emptiness. Those uh, we uh, we know at least a little bit, right? And if we want to uh, spend some time towards the analyze of those things, we know a little bit, not just like uh, how to say uh, nothing, right? We know a little bit, so those are I think very fortunate that we already have, and plus, so the uh, sutra part and the tantra part, right? Tantra part, part the, is we believe it's a very rare, even though uh, uh, the um, uh, within the, the, we call that the how to say um, thousands Buddhas, right? Right, thousand Buddhas. Everybody knows thousand Buddhas. Like uh, right now is uh, what is old, old, right? And then I'm just about to come to the core. I just said that the Shaja Tova Lai Lai. Yeah. So the coming coming Buddha is the Mitya Buddhas, right? Next Buddha is the Mitya Buddhas, and that's total day of thousands, right? So this we believe that's very rare. Few of them give the authentic uh, uh, teaching. So that uh, we already, uh, how to say, uh, able to uh, map that it's uh, uh, tantra uh, practice, tantra teaching, and also we uh, able to meet the Dharma uh, Vajra Guru, right? And so, so I think we have pretty good shape if we put the effort toward the practice, what, uh, how to say the, the, how to call, conditions, right? Our conditions pretty much to almost 100% gathering. So whatever lack, I think lack of us is, we are not putting the, pushing the effort as, needed. So I think uh, uh, everybody, include myself, so we have to put some uh, focus on the actual practice, not just like an intellectual uh, knowledge, right? And I, I, I myself, sometimes I, I uh, go to teachings quite often. Then sometimes I'm thinking, oh my God, I already received a lot of teachings, a lot of initiation, a uh, lot of instruction, commentary, oral transmissions, uh, empowerment. Then, then I'm just myself analyzing. It is because of lack of received teaching or because I'm not doing right practice, right? Sometimes something, something like that. So. So we, I think we have a, I guess I mentioned the, uh, the conditions pretty, pretty good. Our conditions pretty good. So we, I already mentioned that those are all the, the, uh, the fortune or opportunity that we already has. So, so the uh, succession Guru Yoga is, it is kind of like a, kind of like a, one of our daily meals right, we should take. So every day try to practice. So beginning with the shorter versions and then later on maybe uh, gradually updated uh, the practice. So shorter version sometimes feel like easier, but because of the short, the several uh, verses, but sometimes it's hard Several verses you have to, uh, how to say, uh, you you have to visualize or uh, practice or uh, analyze all of them 
within the depth short words, it's, it's not sometimes not possible. <laughs> so we when we have a all the, the how to say all the dead uh, words in in those practice much easy to analyze. Sometimes make shorter versions. It's commitments done by several minutes, but hard to uh, how to say imagine or visualize or meditate. So gradually you should uh, update the uh, succession guru yoga. It's uh, how to say it's kind of like a uh, uh, how to say help for all the practice, like a Pakti moksha, bodhisattvas, tantras. Every every practice uh, part of the, uh, the, the six guru yoga is in, in, included. So I'm not gonna go all the detail which uh, we already discussed before. I would uh, I would like to just lay out uh, from the beginning. Some people might uh, miss uh, last time, or or maybe some people may already forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, then now you have to uh, look at the, the uh, practice book, okay? And of course the uh, in order to uh, listen to the Dharma teachings, uh, motiv motivation must be good. So motivation at least uh, uh, has to have a, a renunciation, renunciation. And today we are talking about the Tantra, so it must have a, a bodhicitta, bodhicitta, and also the, uh, how to say, bodhicitta, in order to order to, uh, how to say, for the sake of all the sentient beings to achieve enlightenment quick as possible. So that's, uh, uh, how to say, tantra motivation. <laughs> okay. So here the uh, beginning, with uh, taking refuge and bodhicitta, right? A1, right? A1. So that's uh, taking refuge and bodhicitta. And then that's uh, The next one say uh, what's called four four M eligible, right? What's called four M yeah, four M eligible uh, practice. Mm. Sanjay,你今天讲到的，今天讲到的，今天讲到的，今天讲到的，今天讲到的，今天讲到的，今天讲到的，今天讲到的，今天讲到的，今天讲到的，今天讲到的，今天讲到的，今天讲到的，今天
rejoice. Rejoice, right? Rejoice. So the uh, taking refuge in Bodhicitta, then for emergency, then uh, um, taking the Bodhicitta vows and then uh, rejoicing the just uh, took the, the Bodhicitta vows. Then the other two means about motivating Sanjay the signs of them. And the other thing is that the human is a new one, which you tell us. Then the second verse is this kind of like a commitment. I just took the Buddhist vow, so I will do the, the, whatever the Buddhist, uh, the Buddhist sattva and the Buddhists do, I will do SMS. Yeah. Then next one is next one is what's called Guru Yoga, right? Guru Yoga. So Guru Yoga they how does it first uh first uh how to, how to call it? imagine or create the marriage field, right? Married field. So this uh Dunji Nanga you do From A7, right? Do you know you do in Jitty, Chujin, you know, you be chingo to say Lamachata, do you know, Mushi Chan, do this under the union? Sympathy were in Jitty, Mazi, you don't have the question of the temple and the Tonga consists of your Malu to be done. You don't see you be near from the years and the Hungi, you said Jiranchin and Amor to Jitchang. How to say the imagine that the married field? Down homebound, that means in, inviting from the uh, the married people that uh, wherever they live and they inviting and the dissolve to the enthrone of your married field. Yes, map George. The next one is uh, supplement, right? Supplement in English called supplement, right? Supplement. Which is uh, A eight, right? A eight. Kangi dijin dijin yuki dijin yana chong kan amar dijin do dijin shapela duj. Then uh, they have a what's called the eight. I don't know what yes. Eight, eight, how to call, we call Kangje. Kangje, a little translate is funny. Eight leg priest. <laughs> like something like that. This, uh, this, I think it's related to the um, mother tentic. If someone who never took the mother tentic, maybe not necessary to recite this one. Then next one is uh, offering, outer offering, inner offering, secret offering, and um, three three different kind of offerings. That we saw the most on the YouTube valley. You mentioned now the children just the first one is uh, outer offering. Then the inner offering is like a. Uh, What's called, you know, offering we we do the kind of like uh, sometimes alcohol, sometimes like that's already blessed. It has to have a, a bless uh, uh, before just alcohol or the black tea. It's uh, not gonna. It's not going to be uh, uh, in an offering. So it has to be some kind of uh, a ritual uh, blessing for the inner offering. And the secret offering is kind of like a concert offering for 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 the the, um, for the say guru or the idam.
that's the uh, offering part, and then uh, mandala offering, right? Mandala offering. Next one to mandala offering. Where am I? Where am I? I'm, I'm lost in English. Mm -hmm. So, where, where's the, which, which page? One page, yeah. Okay, yeah. Like 12, right? 12. Yeah. So, that's uh, uh, Mandela offering, right? That you know, is on. This Mandela offering, uh, the how the verses is very, uh, very, I, I like very much. It's very easy to imagine that like the the body, speech, mind, myself, and all the as well as our world and a collection of which of the three times and I explain and preach mandala together with the mass of some other body offering. I visualize and offer it to the guru, idam and the ritual. So the force of your compassion, please accept them as the grant me blessing. Idam guru rana mandala and his mix. By the way, when we visualize the mandala offering, I think most effective one is, I think main offering, whatever we're offering is not the materials. So here, I think he, this verse is mentioned. Uh, I believe it's our own virtues from past, current, and the future. That's uh, I think most uh, important to offer for the uh, mandala offering, and other, other all the Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, uh, Sharakas, uh, those uh, rituals we can edit it too, but our own uh, uh, merit or rituals, whatever we already collected from past and uh, collecting right now and then in the future, whatever we're going to collect, that's um, we can offer, and then. That is the essence, and then we can imagine those as, how to say, uh, how to call, mountains or whatever those, the, we can imagine as the material, but the, the, their nature as the, those virtues and aspects as the, those parts. Then next one's, uh, Supplement for guru or supplement for guru or raising guru supplement. So I think supplement, right? Supplicate, supplicate. <laughs> okay, supplicate. Okay. So don't you do this? You come to the same woman on the same time. So I think there were several verses. Don't you think the lowest and more than the other day? How are you going to be a lamar and butcher? So I Then after that two verses, then uh, it's kind of like, a, how to say? Mm. How to call? Oh, rely, rely on the uh, guru, right? They have a, how to say, two, two way to practice. One's, one from the minds or one from kind of like an offering or those things, one from the inner minds to think about a guru or something like that. Then after that, uh, uh, how to say, dissolve that the merit field. That's what the Lamaji Rangi Jews is going to be like here under the Jews. Then you do this in being a Jiji. Then you do this with the Jiji and I get to do this with Kandai. So just on the Junior, they might you. That's a dissolve. Of the merit field, right? 
then I think we are already in B4. B4, page 14, B4 is a uh, practice of uh, generosity. So this part maybe we already done before, right? Then it don't bust some long more then uh, after that is uh, kind of like a three three wows um three wows how to call it. three uh, wows remind reminded practice or something like that <laughs> so it's kind of like a uh, reminding our ourselves like a uh, party uh, wows and the Bodhicitta vows and the tender vows. So fully uh, Odin, uh, fully Odin's, uh, how to call it, fully Odin monks or nuns, that they, they can edit this in between there, the Bhakti uh, Moksha vows uh, are kind of practice in there. So if not that fully Odin monks or the Bushu Bushuni, then no necessary to edit that that part. So maybe this one doesn't have right. The next part is a Buddhista Buddhistatwa uh eighteen Buddhistatwa vows. So today uh, we should try to focus on this part, okay? Okay, I tried to type that those uh, <laughs> 18 numbers in English. <laughs> so I put here, okay. So they have a, they were 18, right? Grease myself and criticizing others. Right, so they, uh, Motivation must be like Nyeba uh, Takurti. Nyeba means uh, like uh, fame, right? It makes sense, fame, because you want to have a fame or you want to have a something priest or something like that, motivation. And then uh, you uh, priest yourself and and someone, someone is already, someone is, how to say, someone is, uh, someone is, how to call it, qualified to priest, but you, because of your uh, motivation or something that you criticize the others, right? Some, uh, we have a be behave like that, you know, the some, uh, in, in, even though not talking about the Buddhist practice in the something like uh, some educate people, and, oh, he's a very high educated, but, but, but something, but something. <laughs> oh, oh, we have a, some kind of behave like that. So it's kind of like a, yeah. Um, yeah. Dr. Shimi. So the uh, this this has a two two different kind of downfall, right? Praising yourself and criticizing others the two two different so so this one comes once, okay? Praising myself and criticizing others. So uh motivation maybe um 
ቻቶ ለከረላ ብልኩታ ቻቶ ጀለስ አይ አይ ቲንክ ጀለስ ጀለስ ሞዶሜሽን ማይክ ቤ ጀለስ ሞዶሜሽን ማይክ ቤ ሜቢ ሜቢ አታችመንት ሜቢ and anyway the self central mind that even you should someone should praise the other people but in instead of the praising they criticize and you uh, uh, how does a person self uh, saying like i'm i'm a good i'm a good practitioner i'm pretty much caught the buddhist buddhist uh, something something like that right so that's uh that's uh in, in general general people who didn't take the buddhist of the was then, then it is wrong but maybe okay <laughs> someone who already took the buddhist of the was that's uh in in general they said right the ones uh glojung practice says i should respect all sentient beings how to try to try to put all the sentient being above you right so that means you have to respect for the all the sentient beings that means everyone has to respect so they have no way to criticize the others that's one part first uh how to say uh one of our uh, aiding buddhist that were down for which then not not giving dharma or world that is she made the punche that is she made chono metishin chono metishin so <clears throat> other other person who needed dharma or on uh, dama or world i i don't know it's a perfect term translate world world or something something necessary needed uh, the, the, the the beings and uh, some uh, some some case some people no necessarily need the world or support any material things but they need the support for the uh, right path dharma practice so someone who um need it and then you know it and then you have opportunity to do it if you don't do it that's uh, that's uh, this downfall first first part dharma then uh, world or the material support and then of course we know a lot of people need it right a lot of people need it a lot of uh, other other sentient beings animals and the, so so you this is not not saying like a general if you don't do it or something like this you knew someone need it and you already how to say have a opportunity to do it if you don't do that that's uh no uh, fell of that is uh this category so they have a two different kinds one is dharma and one is uh not what called world or material support it's the second part right mm so it's kind of like a a uh, motiv motivation by kind of like a attachment right attachment it is a little bit funny when we talk about uh, some something that related to the dharma giving a dharma if someone didn't give when general thought oh, how come it is related to the motivation through the, uh, the attachment but but it is i don't know how, how, how it is happened <laughs> so seems like a, whatever you know the dharma 
practice or dharma knowledge or the, the, the uh, those things if you give someone it's not going to lose yourself but somehow something happened like that so i think motivation is part of like a attachment it might be some other motivation but in general attachment both uh, dharma not giving the dharma and not giving the vault and then not accepting apologies right apology Apolo apologize 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 This one only said not accepting apologize. Shadow me. So so it's kind of like uh, asking forgiveness, right? Someone's asking forgiveness, something did wrong or not <laughs> in necessary and not necessary, I think so something did wrong, but in general, somebody uh, uh, request requesting or asking the forgiveness something I did something wrong and please accept my apologies or something. Even if you don't accept it, it is part of this uh, downfall. And and also uh, one part is how to say. I think in, in in mundane our lives it's quite hot, quite often happening when someone did something wrong and they try to uh, apo apolog apo how to say apologize and then we didn't accept and plus we criticize no you have a <laughs> you you did intentionally or something like that right we try to criticize and and the worst case, try to uh, try to what's called try to re revenge, even he or even shoot or even criticize or even try to uh, try to what's called try to destroy the reputations or something like that. So this is part of the this uh, downfall too, not not just accepting uh how does it not accepting the apologize is part right and also plus if you edit the criticize or those things so they were two different kind of uh um, downfall with, within the this um, this downfall is a two sub 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 category so one is not accepting the apologize and one is uh, um, criticizing or try to re revenge that that's um, uh, with the dead person. So this is interesting. They said not just apologize. They're saying like a uh, explain, right? Yeah. When someone did something wrong and then explain, please listen. I have no idea. I did something wrong because I thought that it is something, something explanation, but still not accepting. Not it, the how here the, how to say the, in, in the in the word it uh, didn't just say not uh, accepting apologizing like uh, with the explanation and then try to apologize and then plus talk by means like i try to uh, verbally criticize you or uh, do something harm by something like a body or whatever the things that try to harm you or and then also i believe in the in the book i didn't see the the, the how to say someone tried to dis destroy the 
reputation so it's, it's not in the book I saw, but I, I believe it is part of this too. Then abandoning the Mahayanas. So, so this this one has a two subcategory too. One is just abandoning the uh, Mahayana uh, teaching, and one is how to say um, how to call. Mm -hmm. I, I, I couldn't get that one word. When we, example, like when we get the COVID-19, right? It affect very fast. Well, how do how to say that word? Hmm? Ex what say? Ex yeah, exponential something like that. So the abandoning abandoning the the uh, uh, Mayana teachings one part, right? So they say not saying like general. It's saying like how to say. Mm -hmm authentic Mahayana teaching, which the person tried to say, this is not the real teaching. This, if you uh, do practice with the, that teachings, you know, you know, you you get nothing or something like that explanation, right? Then another part is, and just made up by that person and then giving, Okay, this is good path. You should do this something, something that you will get to the pure land or something. So they, uh, they have two, um, two different ones. One is just abandoning it and one is that you, uh, you, you, try to, you, you try to give the distort, distort, uh, distorted, distorted teaching. So that's two. Then uh, number one, two, three, four, right? And now number five, stealing the property of three jobs, right? So this, this, this part is general, not, not how to say it. Not uh, not not close to the many people uh, possible, like a three stealing the the uh, uh, poverty of three jewels. So it's uh, might be might might be related to the maybe Dharma center or monastery or nunnery or so they they, they here saying like a uh, example like uh, when someone offers something for the Buddhas, right? In general, we offering for the Buddha, in general, how to say, our, our, our understanding is we try to offer something for the Buddha statue, right? Go to the temples and offering something. And there were many different places and there were many different traditions they offering, try to make some, they have some on their, their own traditions. So some may be uh, example like a Tibetan people. Many, they do. Whatever they have a jewel, they go to the temple and they offer. So it is very possible. It's property, right? Something jewels, like a, um, a what's called, um, a, a, a example like uh, maybe Amber necklace, right? So someone who has, or there were some traditions before someone who die, they offer. In some case maybe lama, some case maybe monastery, some case maybe go to the particular temple, example like a, after the Chokan temples, and they go and offering. So, so it is possible that who take care of the temple or who has a uh, authorized that. that's. Uh, statue or temple in my 
take away. <laughs> That's the possible, right? So it's a, it's a one. And also Dharma part, like, uh, you know, the, in reality, when we talk about the Dharma, it's not that those scripture, but but some people offering the Dharma, like, a, okay, I want to sponsor the print that some such or such a scripture book or something like that, right? And so it's uh, <laughs> it's uh, uh, maybe possible something something um, intentional or not intentional, maybe the, uh, the how to say, and it, it's in most case like a monastery, nunneries or printing, printing company or some the possible, they, they might say, oh, it costs more than $500 or something like that, right? So in general, they may cost like $500 and they may add up $600. Uh, Seven hundred dollars or something like that, and 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 the some people might get the two different sponsor for same bill, right? Same, <laughs> it's possible. So, so it's uh, three jewels, uh, Buddha statue or Buddha or something that it's not necessary to just a Buddha, like uh, you know the Tara or those deities or every, every pretty much same, and then. Dharma, uh, like a, like I mentioned, some book book print, right? Dharma book print, and then sangha. Sangha, I don't think it's a single monks or nuns. I think it has to be something group, at least four members of the sangha, or bhikkhu or bhikshuni, and. It's most related, we can say, like a nunnery or monastery. So, so some of those, we, we will talk later, they have a, some certain motivation they needed to fail under the certain downfalls. Whether attention or knowledge, it's possible like a monastery or nunnery. So when they uh, offer in, in 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 India, like India, I don't know the right now current situation. Used to be, used to be our monastery. They have a lot of people who need to walk, right? A lot of staff. So monastery, they they give each month fifteen rupees. Fifteen rupees. Why? Fifteen rupees is you can that times you can get 30, 30 chai. So one day you can get one chai. Yeah. So that's why the monastery give the 30 rupees, right? So whether intentional or not intentional, but you might get double chai, right? <laughs> so that's found came from the monastery and possible, right? So uh, they, we can we can have an argument or this uh, is a how to say they have a, they they stealing something they they have a sudden sudden how to call it, sudden reasonable price. You may not get the stealing uh, how to say downfall if you just steal one rupees, right? So and they have a sudden reasonable price or something. I I'm just uh, telling you guys so. Like a monastery and nunneries, uh, those are uh, found if someone steals, maybe goes to the, this category, like a, a Sangha, three jewels, Sangha, uh, property seat stealing. Then number six, right? So the, we can get, we can put the three subcategory, right? One for, for the Buddhas. Dharma and Sangha, so, so this uh, stealing the poverty of the jewels. Then abandoning, abandoning the Dharma. This is very similar to the, the other ones. 
So this, this is not saying like a just, how to say, not 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 saying like you just not doing or you not just exit accepting the uh, the dharma or this teaching. It's saying like you you uh, criticizing the uh, how to call dharma something like a, oh Mahayana is not exist. It's not taught by the Buddha. Even we even we know right some some people say that Tantrayana not exists, it's made up. <laughs> it's not the, the thought by the Buddha or something like that. So it's kind of like a, kind of like a, a dangerous sword. But here talking about the people who took the Bodhicitta vows, if they criticize like that, that's a part, part of the, their, the, how to say, breaking their vows, right? So, so some, the, how to say, so they have a three different kind of, uh, how to say, Buddhist, called, sometimes called basket, right? So if you criticize each of those, so you, the, uh, someone who criticizes each of those is uh, well under the death path. Taking away suffering rope, <clears throat> so here he is saying like a, a, how to say in the wood he he said uh, what what is the taking away suffering ropes, right? So the so what's called the uh, person who who, who is uh, how to say who already took the uh, the moksha vows, the nun or monks or those uh how to say those um those 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 robe or clothes or so something related to the Dharma practice. Not 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 just saying like everything's <laughs> everything whatever owns to the monks or nuns if someone still still something I, I don't think that's talking about. So here talking about the person, person example like a, a Rab Chung, Rab Chung, no, no, no monks or monks or nuns, even doesn't, they, they saying like it doesn't matter whether that person keep vows purely or not, he's still monk or nun. So, so how to say some might some might say how to say some might put the logic ah it's not a good man I can still I can take away his robe right it's not good man I can kick out or something like that. so you cannot do that so so there was certain certain the uh, certain the vows like example like a full root vow for the monks or nuns. If someone break one of those, then kick, then how to say, uh, allow the kick out. Otherwise, oh, it's not how to say, not following the seriously all the his Bhakti Moshe vows. So maybe we can kick out him. It's not good. He's he's, he's making uh, how to say making bad reputation for our monastery or none or something so you cannot do that so if some some someone do do like this this become under the this uh, how to say this this um, 
downfalls. So when we see taking away seven robes, so what that means, right? So it's something, something like that. That person, whether he's keeping all his vow uh, correctly or not, but the person's supposed to keep their four main root vows and plus maybe alcohol. Those five, someone who keeps very serious and some other vows may be breaking. And then someone came up and oh, no, he's not good. He's breaking this, 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 this. So we should take off his rope. Just kick out or something like that. So not just like uh, like uh, in, 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 in like a United States. I heard it's, I, I think it's too, right? Sometimes uh, nearby the bar station in the Bay Area and someone show the gun and then want to have uh, some money and then person doesn't have a money and they say, okay, take off your paint, take off your t-shirts and something not like that, so not just like that. So it's, it's the reason behind is he's not taking seriously about his wows or something and then try to kick out or to diminish the dead person or something like that. Also, also, how to say, beat or put in the prison or something like that. So those similar uh, category. And, and, and of course, if someone forcefully disrupt, right? Forcefully disrupt the monks or nuns. It happens when the culture Cultural revolution in in in, in, in China and Tibet cities and some many monks and nuns they forced to disrupt. So that's the take uh, taking away suffering rose. Then commit committing one of five action of immediate repro repercussions repercussions right. Summing us. Passeva, Massava, Dajon, Suba, Gindu, Injiba, Dishiba, and Nathanja Tajimba. So kill, uh, try to kill fathers or mothers and try to kill the, the Arahat and then Gindu, Injiba, try to make divided the monastic or nunnery. All right, and then try to hurt the Buddha. So those fights we generally call tamme, tamme, tamme nga. Tamme means general, how would call tamme means, tamme means kind of like without interrupt, interruption, right? Without interrupt, that means if you commit one of those within their lives, you you're gonna have a uh, how to say you're gonna you're gonna have a that effect with next life. So that's why they call the uninterrupted five five how to call five karma or something like that. I mean, the late. in Tibetan word same is uninterrupted le is karma. So uninterrupted karma or something like this. So in general, used to I'm thinking the you know the the uh, killing father, killing mothers uh, Used to be when I was young, I thought it was impossible. <laughs> then I grew up, grew and I travel all around the world. Then I had a lot of <laughs> kind of like that, you know. And then I had we don't. Mm, it pretty much we don't need to worry, right? Killing our heart, pretty much. And and divided the monastic or nunnery vows in general public maybe no 
no, 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 how to say, no, that uh, need to worry. And the uh, try to hurt the Buddhas pretty much. We don't, don't need, need to worry. So in, any of those, uh, so there were five different uh, kind of, uh, kind of like a, how to say committing one of five action or immediate repercussions. So they have five different, right? Uh, father, mother, arahat, and uh, how to say, try to divide it uh, monastic or nunneries and then uh, try to hurt the Buddha. Then, Nine the holding wrong views. So this this one is pretty pretty bad one. So wrong yeah 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 holding wrong view is it's not talking about the uh, related to the emptiness okay that's you you someone might be uh, mistake might get the mistake. The uh, holding wrong views. It is talking about uh, uh, someone believes, someone don't believe uh, karma, and someone have a very strong view. Next lives, no, no, they have no, <laughs> no future lives. Uh, karma, no. Whatever you do, affect your future lives, no. Something like I mean, uh, with the logic or with uh, some uh, background, don't believe in the uh, future lives or karma or something that view. Not talking about the uh, when we talk about the emptiness, wrong view is ignorance, right? Not just ignorance. Talking about this holding wrong view is you have a you have a certain view that support how to say background there's something logic okay no no karma uh, karma and cause and effect uh, no future life or past life or something like that that view this one's pretty pretty why why i said it's bad ones this one doesn't this this one no need all the four factors there were Many different, uh, like example, like a uh, eighteen different downfall, right? Only two, four, no need the, all the condition gather. All the others, sixteen of them, has to have a uh, four different condition together, in order to fall under the uh, root downfall. So this number nine and. I think number 18 or something that's uh, giving up bodhicitta. These two, no necessary to have uh, all the uh, conditions or factors. So that's why I said it's a bad one. Holding, destroying town and so forth. So whether I, I I don't think it's uh, <laughs> it's going to be this one is going to be happened person who already take took the <laughs> Buddhist sabha vows but it's similar happening uh, in our walls right it's talking about the town cities or countries or whole in realm and try to destroy. So, so people who took the Buddhist sattva was I don't think it's going to <laughs> going to happen like this. But in general, we do something right. Right town try to t destroy the towns and cities and whole country or whole planet or something like that. 
destroying town and so forth. So this one is of the set town and so forth. So include these like a cities and then whole countries or whole environments or something like that. Teaching emptiness to untrain. So this one is talking about the unqualified to listen or to listen to the uh, emptiness or reality. So it, it's not just saying like a general person, it's someone who already uh, generated the bodhicitta, but someone is not uh, uh, not yet ready to listen or practice the emptiness. And then someone give the teaching like that for the dead person, that person might lose the bodhicitta. So that's why they're saying like the untrained, giving the emptiness to the untrained uh, practitioner. That means in this case is talking about someone who is not quite ready to li listen or practice in the emptiness, but already generated bodhicitta. And that person, if you give the wrong time or, un I would say, kind of like a right, wrong time to give the, the uh, emptiness and he might, when, when, when we give the emptiness, we, when we think about emptiness, it's if everything is not existent, right? Then he might, that person might thought, everyone is not existent, then why I should generate bodhicitta for the everybody, right? All the sentiments, something like, something, how to say, uh, easy, uh, understandable word, I can, I can, if I can use like this. So some, when we meditate or when we practice the bodhicitta is, Order the each environment, well, order the uh, well being for sentient beings. I would like the each in the enlightenment, something like that, right? So, when that person heard the emptiness, everything's not the existence. Oh my god, then why I, 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 I might be not existing or something like that. So, the how to say the understanding, lack of understanding of emptiness might. Uh, bring down that person's uh, bodhicitta toward the, uh, how to call it? Here is practice. Okay, then better I should just uh, focus on renunciations and try to uh, get the, the arhat stage, not uh, enlightenment or something like that. This one is just um emptiness need to the untrained so in general it makes sense right right it's, it's not easy to uh, the generate the bodhicitta and then it it's in general it's possible someone who generated bodhicitta but not uh quite yet uh, re realize the emptiness. It's possible in general, I mean, it's possible. Most of practitioners, I don't think so. Most of practitioners who generated bodhicitta, they already see the emptiness. And then when we debate, right, in the monastery, Mahayana, uh, the Madhya Manga subject, and then they have a different tenet and within the uh, the um, the uh, Madhyanga, Madhyanga, they have a two uh, different tenets, right? So, Swantantaka so and what's called Pasankika. So, I think Pasankika, which one's the highest one? I don't think that that tenets, if we based on that tenet, has to. It, see that I had to realize the emptiness when someone who uh, even uh, get the renunciation. 
So then this, whatever right now we're talking about, the, I think general possible. If we go to the detail, like uh, based on the Pasankika or something, then so they, their logic is pretty good. Order to the renunciation, sometimes they say they have a two different practitioners. One is intellectual ones and one is faithful ones. So in general, it's saying like the intellectual ones, whatever they believe or they uh, accept, they investigate before. So when they get the renunciation or generate the bodhicitta, they will in investigate. When they investigate means like uh, what's the real things, what's the existence or those things and before generate the bodhicitta, they will realize the emptiness. So, so in general, it, it might possible, and in, in, in like a like a, the uh, what's called um, uh, um, Adisha's master. What's called Adisha master? Adisha master in English. Samatha Kiti, Samatha Bada, Samatha Kiti, something. Yeah, so something like that. That uh, master, even he gave the Bodhi uh, Sadhva uh, vows to the, the um, um, Adisha, but he is not uh, the Madhya Minka's, uh, how to say, Madhya Minka follower or so something like that. He's so. So why I say that possible that masters give the bodhicitta vows to the adisha because he do practice the bodhicitta vows. He already took the bodhicitta vows, but he didn't realize the emptiness as preferred from the Pasankika tenet. So that's that's why I'm saying it's possible. Teaching emptiness to unchange, turning other away from com complete enlightenment. So it is possible, similar to the above one. So if you try to uh, practice uh, Mahayana or Tantayana, in this case, like a Mahayana, oh, it's too, how is it, too far away. It took three events to practice. And, and then you have a too much responsible or something like that. Someone tried to explain to you, right? Better you should just keep yourself. Try to renounce it to achieve the uh, arahat. Just try to abandon the, your uh, all the destruction mind and just just do the simple meditation. It's not going to take a long time. You don't have a whole sentence being responsible or something like that. So it's, it's talking about something like that, destroying the, how to say, turning the other away from complete enlightenment. So better you should do this practice, not the uh, Mahayana practice, because Mahayana practice takes a longer time. So you, you have to have a more merit. You have to take more time. You have a more responsible. Then same time you will suffer longer or something like that. And then someone might think, oh, that may be a good idea. You should go other path or something like this. So this one, similar, something like that. Then number 13, abandon, abandoning the wow of bhakti moksha. So that's pretty similar, right? So saying like, a, oh, the bhakti moksha was not necessary. If you take the Bhakti Moksha vows, keep the Bhakti Moksha vows, you can do many things or, or you cannot have a family, you cannot have a, 
uh, ring or you cannot do this such such a, such a thing. But there were best option you have is just go to the tantra path. You can just do the faster practice and then you can have a family, so you can ring or something like that. Possible, right? So it's talking about this uh, this that way. And but during the war was Pipi Mosha. So Pipi Mosha is not important, not necessary. You can just do Mahayana practice or Tantra practice. Then um, it's a better, uh, how to say, kind of like a better option or something like that. So this is uh, number 13. Criticizing the Sarvaskas we call So it is kind of similar, but of oversight. If you, you how to say, you, uh, uh, how to say, uh, belongs to or uh, how is this? Not, not, uh, not necessarily this. Not necessarily the being as the uh, Mahayana practitioner or something that's like a, a, a the how to call. Mm, something like a, okay, I'm Bodhi. Uh, how to say Mahayana practitioner or tender practitioner or I'm. Um, being as a higher practitioner and then saying like, okay, the uh, Harris or Savaska, it's called the Savaska, right? Savaska's practice is nothing. You cannot achieve, even you cannot, how this all comes from the yourself. That's practice is not good. You should not, do the those practice or something. If you criticize the, uh, the um, kind of like a Hinayana path or something like that, right? So sometimes we, sometimes we 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 do. We as being as kind of like a, uh, we are Mahayana, we are not Tantrayana, mm, Hinayana is mm, kind of like. A, Trying to like push law or something, uh, they they are self interest uh, practitioner or something like that, right? So we cannot criticize that way. Criticizing the Savaska vehicles, telling a profound lies. So profound lie is kind of like a, someone who didn't realize the emptiness or someone who didn't achieve the certain path of the practice. And 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 they they how to say they they sh they try to convince other people. Okay, I'm already see. I already realized the emptiness dr directly. Yeah. I I already achieved bodhicitta or something. Something uh, sometimes we call the big life or whatever. Whatever it is. So in general, and gen general in our society, we said. This kind of lie is not very uh, danger for the general public. It's more close to the lamas. Yeah, some someone like me. Yeah. So yeah, so yeah, when 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 you know that the, many people follow you or please you, then somehow our minds are a little bit dumb, right? Things okay. I'm pretty much good. I'm and and even even not necessary that you can say clearly. I already realized emptiness, but someone may please you. 
oh, you are the Lama, you are already enlightened being, you are already Bodhicitta or something like that, then you might show some sign accepting. Okay, I mean, yes, or something like that. So that's uh, that uh, talking something related to the dead. So some, some it's a, in general possible to rise. So someone who's practiced for a long time and have uh, some experience and and some might say, oh, you practice or you meditate emptiness for maybe twenty years. So now your practice level is pretty high or something. Some people might show mm, I'm okay. I'm pretty good or I'm. <laughs> kind of like, kind of like a high level practitioner or something. If 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 ex some kind of sign or verbally or something, but then goes to this uh, category, and then it might say, "Okay, I got a good experience. I can help you. You should practice this way, that way, that way, or something like that." Right? So in general, you you guys met the many lamas. And general in our um, Tibetan lamas, uh, pretty serious lamas, and pretty authentic lamas, they never ever say, "I realize something. I'm good at about this." This <laughs> never ever gonna say. Always say it into some kind of like a, some tough topic, right? Some very Top subject when we discuss, even when we are in the debate class, we go to, every day. We go to the teacher to receive the instruction, and some, some uh, how to say, uh, top subject. Even when we listen to our teacher explanation, pretty clear, but he never ever gonna say, "That's it, you follow" or something like that. He always said, this is a very tough subject. My suggestion is like that, but you should investigate. You should read this, this book. You should try to debate more. And then whatever you have a thought, come back and tell me, something like that. So I think the, those, uh, those uh, how to say, the their 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 how to say their their deed or I don't know their their explanation I think something related to them those uh, downfalls they are very careful and I think it's not just lying they 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 really thinking this is not the final they found they 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 believe right now I'm thinking this. But it may be not that correct one. Maybe possible some other way we can find uh, more information or something like that. So this is kind of like a big lies. Mean that it is kind of like a like a, in in in, in Tibetan or mutual lamedun. Mutual lamedun is kind of like a. Uh, that uh, lies and more close to the lamas, not the general public. So it's possible, right? Some many many lamas they do the divinations, and they are asking many things. You guys notice or not? I don't know. When you go to Tibet and then public came out and they ask you many different kind of uh, <laughs> questions. Example like a uh, Andu region, right? My monastery area, they have a kind of like a custom when someone, senior member of your family passed away, and within a year or something, some relative, when they were newborn baby, they want to find out whether this newborn baby is my father or my grandpa or grandma or not. Or not. They're asking like that. So it's, it's, it's not the easy answer, right? So when they ask you and then you pretend it and try to do the divination and then say, oh, yes, yes, this is your father, this is your daddy, the, how to say, uh, the reincarnation, then 
then possible this uh, big lie, <laughs> right? Okay. Telling the phone loud, taking the property of three jewels. This one, I look like a little bit different in Tibetan and English. Draw some corlings. So three properties here, it's a, a little bit different than the, whatever we talked last time. Last one, last one we talked about the Buddha, whatever we offered the Buddha jewelry or something that we tried to steal or something. Here saying like, a, like a, what's called? Example like a government fees, right? Example like a government fees, something belongs to the monastery or uh, nunneries or, and those things, if you try to use it, you understand? Someone forced to take away the monastery property, the property and try to sell or try to use or something like that. And example like a, example like a, okay, someone, this related to right? Example like someone steal, example like a Tara jewel. Right, and brought to you and give give you, and then you accept it. This okay. might, th yeah, this might be go to this category. If someone still of force, by force or by still something from something something that belongs to Buddha or Dharma or Sangha, then use as a gift or something, then you accept it. So 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 I I mentioned right those sixteen of those has to have a four condition. So if you're not aware of that, maybe not go to the, this category. If you are aware, you know exactly what the person offering you, where where it's come from or something like that, then go to this category. So in general, this is not, uh, how to say, not that danger for us. Mm -hmm. Creating creating bad rules. Mm. That, 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 that word, is, word is different in English and Within the English, they have a different two, I think. Previous one is, I have an English word, it said, accepting what has been stolen from the triple gem. That more clear, right? And then number 71 is establishing unfair policy. Yeah. It's kind of like uh, talking about uh, someone related to the someone who practicing like a single point mind practitioner, and then you try to take some 
uh, poverty for from the dead guy and try to give someone who just uh, how to say just reciting some prayers or something like that it makes how to say make distinction try to force or steal from the someone who doing something like a meditation or Singapore meditation or vipassana or something and then you take that uh, material from the dead uh, practitioners and then try to do nice to someone who doing other practice or something like that. So this saying like establishing the bad policy, unfair policy, so like as how to go. how to call like a try to try to uh, I, 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 I couldn't find the word for English kind of like a you you someone who takes a side okay and then one side you main reason I believe you don't like it or you don't believe it or something and then force or by force or by still some poverty from the dead practitioner or group and then try to those poverty whatever you took or force from the dead group or person then try to help the other group or practitioner so it seems like a Seems like a generosity, <laughs> but the reality is not. So you, you kind of like a unfair. You force some person or one person or group that, uh, uh, how to say, take away something from their poverty and then suppose how to say pretended to helping some uh, someone else or some other groups. So in this world, kind of like a, I lost creating bad rule. That's a, <laughs> and then, then last one number eighteen is giving a bodhicitta. So this one I, I I just said before like a number nine wrong view and number eighteen giving a bodhicitta is the so serious within the 18 of those so these two uh no need to gather the all the factors so they have a four different factor we will we will discuss so giving a bodhicitta is in general looks like uh well, maybe not that serious or maybe not that danger for us right yet talking about the person who already took the Bodhisattva vows, then something uh, happened or something against or something breaking or something. So those 18, right? So here the person who already took the Bodhisattva vows and then giving a Bodhicitta is looks like and maybe not quite happened or something like that. But if, if you if you go kind of like a detail, very possible for us. We, we will, uh, we will uh, face all the time other people, right? Other people, animals. Then someone who might feel, I can serve all sentient beings except that person. Yeah, that's very possible. Persons or animals or whatever, that's the very disturb you or maybe you may get angry or some reason, right? That's very possible. If someone feels that way, then I think giving Buddhist, how say, giving, giving up Buddhist vows. So that the uh, inspiration is Buddhist uh, vows, they have a one, um, one the how to say advice or advice or one commitment is they said the reason who you uh, 
generate a bodhicitta if you, um, how to say, if you single out any 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 of single out any of sentient beings, it might lose your bodhicitta vows. So, in general, give me a bodhicitta. No, I'm not gonna give you a bodhicitta. I'm practicing bodhis bodhicitta. I'm with the Mahayana or something like that. But in reality, it is very very possible for us to have this downfall. And plus, this downfall no need for factor. Just one factor is enough. So this one is too serious one too. So they have a four factor which need all other 16, except 19 and 18, all the other 16 have to have a four factor. If if didn't, how to say, gathering the, all the factors, all four factors, they're not gonna be root downfall. It's going to, going to be kind of like a, kind of like a secondary downfall. So what the difference is, if you if you get the root downfall, that means pretty much going to lose bodhicitta vows, root cause, the root downfall. They have a four binding factors, right? So I'll, I'll have some the English words, okay. No regarding the negative action as detrimental, seeing only advantage to it. So whatever you did, you didn't see that that's your fault or bad things or something, but still you enjoying to do it. That's one factor. And having been in the habit of committing that transgression before, having no wish or attention reaffirm re now or in the future from the repeating it. It's kind of like a no regret, right? No regret, right? Kind of like, yeah, kind of a no regret. And delighting in the negative action and undertaking it with joy. So one is you did it, and then how to say you uh, how to call you 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 feel as advantage. One thing, another one is you uh, uh, how to say you you. Attentionally, you did it, and then you have a no plan to stop it or something like that, right? And number three one is, whatever you did, you joyously, you do it, doing it, right? And then having no moral self-dignity. So it's kind of like a, no, no shame at all, whatever you do, you, how is it? Doesn't care. <laughs> it, uh, how to say you didn't care or something like this. So those four conditions. So so like a, a second of those need that those four conditions or factors. If if uh, how to say if all the four factors are there, then it's gonna, gonna it's become a, a root downfall. If not, then it's a, uh, not a root downfall, but they call a uh, great one or middle, medium one or small one, whatever they call, but it's kind of become secondary, uh, secondary downfall, not a root downfall. So we able to finish the 18 root downfall. So I'm gonna stop here, okay? So maybe a few, few minutes, if someone has a question, we always, we all lose the time for the question and answer. <laughs> So I will stop here and then feature if you if you want to continue uh, 
latter part. This uh, latter part is kind of like a, a tentic, fourteen tentic uh, uh, downfall, and then uh, secondary some samayas, and then some the uh, uh, mother tentic uh, samayas, and uh, eight uh, uh, eight eight tick downfall or something. That's uh, we didn't go through it today. So anyone has uh, any related to the today topic, any question, then I can try to give you some answer. Mm. I have a comment. Mm -hmm. I'd like to thank you for today and, and uh, after uh, a while, please come back mm -hmm. and travel and let's go over mm -hmm. branch commitments and tantric commitments. Mm -hmm. Because I know for us to run a temple, Dharma Center, we have to have these um, commitments. Mm -hmm. So being, being mindful and is most important, but um, Sometimes people say, I'm being mindful, but I'm not going to accept apology. <laughs> so <laughs> so do, do, do you run a temple and for people to get along, um, you know, accepting apologies and listening to others is most key, isn't it? You know, most key. So very, very difficult. So particularly thinking, praising myself and criticizing others. <laughs> So these are these are essential just how to get along. So thank you so much for today. Um, I know some people have to uh, you know, make commitments to leave at one perhaps. So um, maybe you should have cut a line like that, and and we can save questions for next time. Do you think? Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you so much. So uh, I first offer Mushe cut, and then people line up behind me. And you can include an offering if you like, or just come up and say hello. I I might say one thing. I I have a one sad story. Uh, one kid is uh, only six years old, and several years ago he got a uh, kidney fa failure in India. So that uh, father I know. Uh, uh, Many years, he's uh, part of from my monastery region from um, Qinghai, Tibet. And they, now moms try to, mom will give the, the one of her kid, kidney to the her baby in India this month. And I have uh, some link which uh, I asked Christine Ho to try to help. So Christine Ho made uh, some kind of online uh, supporting or donations for the deaf kids. Uh, he's uh, they they live in, in Delhi, India. So I will send the link to you and and yeah 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 yeah. So he tried to spread the uh, how to say information to the other people. So they causing a lot of money and then. They, we actually we tried to help many two years ago, maybe less than two years, almost two years ago. We tried to raise the fund, and then we did, and then that almost I think three years they do the how to dialysis. So that's they already spend in their money. They call the twenty lakh for the, the those uh, treatment. Now they have to do the surgery for both mom and the uh, kids. And I don't know that the, the medical, the how to say, technology, the kitchen who, who is a uh, doctor and then he work under the US uh, consulate in Delhi. So I asked her that they have any program that can help that, that kid and he, she tried, but looked like she didn't find any program, and she tried to raise the fund for the dead kid. And she said, 10, 10 times, how did it, 10 
different procedure he, he have to do or something like that. Anyway, I will send the link to uh, Lamala and any any donations. It's a it's an online donation, so no no need to go through anybody. So, <laughs> okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. So we'll we'll put that on Facebook. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. For coming. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Oh yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, how are you? Very good. How are you? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.